looking for now, Frankenstein? And I want to know what the fuck you're doing with my time. Is that they usually put in like a lot of like uh, they put in a lot of aspects of like what are they gonna do with uh, what they gotta have. So I kind of came up with an idea of a zombie survival kit. The first thing you're probably gonna need is a gun. Preferably shotgun, perhaps maybe a rifle, pistol, but I think shotguns have a little bit more effectiveness because, well, <coughs> dispersal pattern. Don't try to get over fancy, AK-47, M4, you know, those are guns that are, well, they're not exactly designed for what you want for zombie killing, because even if you shoot them in the chest, not gonna work. Shoot them in the arm, not gonna work. That's where you wanna hit them, dead in the head, okay? Dead Remember in the head that. works for every zombie. If you can't come out with a gun, a machete, a knife, a sword, or any kind of sharp implement will do. I would prefer this is for, this is for the desperate range, yeah, because because guns, as powerful as they are, they do run out, and usually zombies don't run out. Yeah, you don't have to worry about reloading a machete. Exactly, you just gotta worry about knowing what you're doing with it. Basically, uh, you start so you start slash and chop. Go with a machete. Go with a, an axe. Go with a pickaxe. But if you find yourself in a, a George Romero film, you can use like a, a spaded shovel or anything sharp. Oh, that ain't good. And then you can have dual use because the shovel can be used for other things, digging or just escaping. And right. Now, something else you might obviously want to have is um, Molotov cocktails. I was gonna go straight for gasoline. Because gasoline in itself can be made into anything. Oh yeah, gasoline can. But like Molotov cocktails, they're self-contained. You light them, you throw them, and then they can be used to disperse zombies. But you gotta watch out because if you, you are blow safe, you can blow yourself up. Exactly. Gasoline and stuff. That's all. That's all well and good if you're at happen to be at a gas station or some barn in the middle of nowhere that actually has a gas pump. Uh, nails. Nails or nail gun boards, stuff to, to bar up windows, hammers, hammers anything. Saws, bang them up, bang them up, quick and dirty. Saw blades, toss them like stars. You saw Commando, right? Yeah. Well, Only the best action movie ever made. And let me tell you something: weapons are great, guns are great, shovels are great, pickaxes are great. I really like axes; those are good too. But you're also going to need some other things. You got to think about other things like duct tape. Duct He's tape right. is a very useful item. You don't know how useful? Just watch the episode of Mythbusters where they build a boat out of duct tape. Oh, Mythbusters. <laughs> Actually, I would go with more of a waterproof flashlight that you could crank up and then you could, you could shake like a there little bottle. There you go. That way you don't have to worry about batteries dying. All right, then. Um, you'd also probably want to have a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, if you're going to, like, you know pick their teeth or something, come on. Well, I mean, you're gonna probably need to cut something. You're gonna probably need like a... That's what are machetes for? You need crowbar and a sledgehammer so you can bust through locks and into uh, buildings if you have to. And if you're gonna go for a car, don't be stupid. Get no convertibles, no pickup trucks. They're stupid. They're always in these movies. They carry three people comfortably and the rest of the st stuffed in the back. Exactly. I would probably... A rolling smorgasbord, as we'd call it. I would go with one of those big-ass armored cars, you know what I mean? Well, if you get your choice, yeah, you know, you, you do the shit like Land of the Dead where they picked out them buses. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to get like a Lamborghini Countach. Something well, like maybe if you were in a city and found yourself in like a Will Smith kind of scenario, like, you know, the I Am Legend, you know, yeah. that's when you want a car like that, because you just like tear down, you know, Fifth Avenue in a thousand yeah, miles an hour. That would be sick. That would be so cool. Driving down there and saying, I'm going like 90 miles an hour in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> hunting antelope. Oh, hunting antelope. No, we wouldn't be. We would have antelope. <laughs> with an AK-47. That's pretty funny. That was some good shit. I got. I got to give him props. That was pretty good stuff. Yeah, that was some good movies. Um, I just like to take a moment and to uh, you know appeal to the common people, the common mass. You may be laughing at this. It may be funny now, but if you're not prepared, this could be a serious issue. And I guarantee, zombie. If you see this and you're laughing at us, and a zombie apocalyptic happens. You're gonna say, oh, I wish I was paying attention. Yeah, bitches. People you need to be nice to when you think that you're heading towards them too. You need to be nice to, you don't really need the police officers. Yeah, yeah, they're heroes and stuff like that. If you're stuck in a mall, maintenance, the maintenance men at the mall, they know all the back doors and they have all the keys and stuff. Because even if you're like friends with them, they'll let you in. And if they don't, you can kill them and you have the keys on you already. And plus you can feed the body to them. You know, that's kind of a useful idea. I actually had to do that once.
on this picturesque block, in this manicured home, something evil, something terrifying, something horrifying, is haunting life. His mother. I thought I told you to spray this house. The place is infested with vermin. Although she was a little strict. Look at this dust. It's an inch thick. He never wished her any harm. You look after me. Until. <laughs> Your mother's dead, Lionel. Now, whatever mom's got. has caught on with the neighbors. He's been you, know you can pray. Oh, I kick ass for the Lord. You can plead. You can beg for mercy. But nothing you can do will stop. Because how do you kill something that's already Trimark Picture presents a modern masterpiece of horror. Your mother ain't a dog! Dead Alive. Party's over. Who else should you be nice to? Um, you see, pizza delivery guy, because they know the best routes to your house, and from your house. The virgin girl, because she never gets killed. Actually, that's not always the case, as it happened in Predator vs. Alien Requiem. I don't that's not really a zombie a... movie, that's an alien invasion. I know, but Jeez, hey. did he just bring up APR? Yeah, I think that was a badass movie. That was, that was, pretty, that was pretty, that was pretty freaking sweet. That was a sweet cut, ass cut, cut, Zombie, zombie, zombies. Zombie. If there happen to be any mad scientists living in the neighborhood, you know, they're always they're always pretty good to have around. Uh -huh. Good old Doc Brown would have come in handy for the uh, people uh, trapped in the, uh, the mall. Yeah, sure, he was creepy. Maybe he was a pedophile. I don't know what else he was into, but the fact of the matter is... Plutonium! Yeah, I mean, hey, you know what? If he kept me alive, I wouldn't have given a I mean, let's just say I'm not Chris Hansen or nobody, but I wouldn't kick him out of my house. You want to be nice to the school teacher too, because usually helpful for one, at least one incident or attack in uh, one of these types of movies. They have some kind of like configuration. You have to pay attention in class if you're still in school, because they, uh, they'll always give you the one hint that'll help you out of a certain situation. Mixing in chemicals or some crap like that. Perhaps even using I before E, except after C. I'm talking about MacGyver here, and he's going all grammatical on me. Oh. Okay.